turning overseas to the French presidential election. Centrist Emmanuel Macron and far-right leader Marine Le Pen will face off against each other in a runoff on May 7th. With most of Sunday's votes counted, the preliminary results show that Macron beat Le Pen in the first round by about one percentage point. Nuara with the details. An Ipsos SOP press stereo poll suggests Macron leads with 23.7% in first round voting and Le Pen with 21.7. Other pollsters have given similar results, but a projection by TF1 RTL shows the two are neck and neck. The official figures by the Interior Ministry show that as of midnight local time, Macron had secured 23.3% and Le Pen on 22.6, with 82% of the ballots counted. Though Macron has never held elected office, opinion polls in the run-up to the vote have consistently given him an easy win in the final clash against Le Pen. The two have also fended off strong challenges from centre-right candidate François Fillon and leftist Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who came third and fourth respectively. Sunday's outcome spells disaster for the two mainstream groups that have dominated French politics for 60 years. Soon after the preliminary results came out, Macron and Le Pen gave victory speeches at rallies with their supporters. They've decided to put me in the lead in the first round of this election. We've taken the first step that'll take the French people to a lizzy palace. This result is historic. It confers on me the immense responsibility of defending the French nation, its unity, its security, its culture, its prosperity and its independence. Macron is a former economy minister and banker who wants to open borders and remain in the EU, but has little political experience. But he now has the backing of some defeated rivals, including François Fillon. Le Pen leads the National Front Party that wants to renegotiate France's place in the EU and tighten borders, but is facing criticism for her hardline views. Voter turnout was similar to 2012 at about 80 percent of the 47 million people eligible to vote. Noada, Arirang News.